Hi, welcome to chapter 3 of polymer training. In this chapter, we're going to look at the polymer life cycle methods and then focus on the event handling and how to find a node inside a polymer element. So first thing first, we have got our typical polymer element, the span element and the polymer function being called. And we have our element mentioned over here. Now if you launch it, you're going to see that the my element is shown. Next, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put in a few methods. These are the methods which are polymer lifecycle methods. So created, ready, attach, and DOM ready methods are called one after another one till the time the polymer element is ready and attached to the DOM. And the, and the detach method is called when the polymer element is removed. We're going to do one more thing over here. We're going to add a button called as a delete button, which will allow us to remove this element. So we're going to access the button. We're going to add an event handler for its click event. We're going to find our element and we're going to remove the element from the DOM. In that way, our detach method should get called. So let's look at this in action. So if I say inspect and say console, you will see that all these methods are called in sequence. And when I click on the delete button, the detach event is called. Next, we're going to look at uh, event handling. And we're going to look at declarative event handling. So for declarative event handling, all you have to just say is uh, on mouse over is equal to mouse over and then declare that function for here. Function could be anything. So it will be event details center and you can just print all the things once you do that uh, you can add on click on mouse server on key press any of these things over here or to any of the elements over here so we're going to take a look at it right now so let's say i do this so the moment I do mouse over, I get the mouse over event. I get uh, who's the center of this, and that's how it works out. Now let's say what I want to do is I want to add a button um, which says uh, clear text, and I want to add a text. So here with value some text. So to refresh it, you'll see that there's some text is clear text. Now what I want to do is once I click on clear text, I want to clear this text box. So for that also, what I'll do is I'll just say on click is clear text, and I'm gonna mention it inside this curly braces and all I'm going to do is add this method since I don't need the event and anything I'm going to leave it blank now what I really want to do is take this text box and empty it the way of finding nodes in polymer is very easy you say this dollar which gives you the DOM and then you say text which is going to be referring to this guy. So this dollar is a shortcut to accessing elements inside uh, the polymer DOM. Um, and then you can say value like this. If you refresh this, you'll see when I click on that, text gets cleared up. So that's it for this demo of uh, lifecycle methods, declarative event handlers, and accessing nodes inside 
following.